Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great day. Well, we have an embanking. So let's get it open and see what is lurking in the bag. Hang on here. Gotta shift everything around. Oh my goodness. Some days. All right, so let me see. This is from DIY Buying, and yeah, okay, want to make sure I had the right place. Let's see what's on top. I think I got one more of these at one point. I'm not sure who I got it from, but we'll just save them for next year. That'll be fun. Going to use them, but... The mail just took forever. Basically the post office. So these are those li cute little bags. This one has a little reindeer. It's very sticky. Sticky, sticky. Now, the bags were $3.99. Comes with a tool kit, wax, pin, boat. And it has some beautiful beads. Let's take a look at these beautiful beads. And I can't tell, I, just, I think they're mostly sparkly beads, because you want presents to be sparkly. You got a little bags of some iridescent reds, ooh, and some big iridescent ones. They look like buttons. Oh, it looks like there's regular and sparkly beads in here. Not very many, because it's not very big. There's seven, eight, nine, nine different beads in this. They got a little static going on there. Does have the product number and the number that will correspond to the little picture. Let's take a look on this side. Kind of a, a yellow, maybe. Real pale yellow. Then you have bright orange. And this one's kind of a, a dark amber, if you will. And you have some AB whites. Ooh, and look at that. That looks like a pink, pale pink jewel. Then we have some AB reds. I guess they weren't just plain, you know, drills. So, and then AB green. Has a nice, beautiful iridescent color to them. They beautiful. And like I said, it doesn't take much for these little bitty kits, but those are just too cute. I'm going to wrap that all up, grab it, and put it in the bag. Let's see how big that bag is. Just so you know, for next year, you can still get these. I don't know that you can get them year-round. I haven't looked at that. So it's six. Get out of my way. Six by oh, seven and three quarters almost. So you could put a nice size package in there. And it's nice uh, burlap material. It's kind of has a lining to it. There isn't a separate lining. It's just like they, they uh, ironed interfacing on the inside. But they're very strong and very well made. And you just pull your little things together. Once you get it all made. And just make a cute little bag and a cute gift. I just thought they were just too much. I like the little ones better than I like the bigger ones. I don't know. I just wouldn't have... I'm not sending anybody a bottle of, of wine or something to it. Okay, that will not fit in there. And five minutes later, and I've already lost... I'm going to put that in there. Just so it all stays together. I don't know where I put that. Is this the bag it came out of? I guess so. It just looked way too small. Just don't want any pieces and parts to get lost. Hang on. Everything's crunching together. But that way I'll have them for next year. And if you had to give a gift, you know, at work or whatever, you could put it in that as well. And we have another one. 
Let's see what this one is. But I thought these were an awesome idea. Kids would just go bananas over these, wouldn't they? And you could put more treats or something, you know, candy and stuff in there. There's plenty of room. Plenty of room. Now this one is... I don't know if you can see him. Uh, you Barely. Here is the reindeer. And you have a stocking. And it looks like a little bit of greenery here with some... Uh, what do you call it? Holly bears. And then you got a little Santa toy sticking up out of there with his little bag. So yeah, these would be perfect for kids' gifts. Just awesome. Comes with boat plate and wax. Let's look at their colors. Sometimes they're the same, and sometimes not so much. Got some black on my hand. I don't know where I got that from. Who knows? been that kind of a day already. Come on. Out we go. Well, you have some really teeny tiny, I don't know, I'll hold it real still, little itty bitty pink ones. I don't know where those are going to go. Huh, that's weird. I don't even see them. Oh, it's the bow ties. There's, there's two of them right there. Isn't that a biggie? You get, they give you extra. And then we have like a, a clear, clear stone with like an iridescent coating on it that's pink and green. I'll try to lay it in my hand because you can see through the bag. So that's kind of pretty. It has the product number and the number that corresponds there. So once again, there are, let's see, there's seven, there's nine different colors in this one. You have white iridescent. You'd have no idea how many white iridescent I have left over from all the projects I've been doing. So we won't ever run out of white iridescent. This is kind of that dark amber again. And we have pale yellow. We have red AB kind of a yellow and you have the the pink and there's your green for your your holly down there. It'd take you about a half an hour to do this if you you know really wanted to and if you had students, you know, you could make one for every one of the, the students, you know, if you felt so inclined. Let me just put these in here so they don't have a danger of Bouncing off my desk. Put that in there. Put that in there. That way it's all ready to go. We fold that in half. And they're the same size. They're just a little itty bitty. Made the same way. Nice. Nicely stitched on the outside. Looks great. But it's kind of a a burlap material, if you will. And they just put like that, oh, what is that, interfacing on the back of it. So it wouldn't all, you can see where it kind of fringes if it didn't have that interfacing. But yeah, I just think they're cute. They're just cute. But they're all going to have to wait till next year and next Christmas to get like something like this from Grandma. The little ones are getting bigger, so, you know, who knows what they'll be into next year. But, just want to put it there, in case I have to use it. Come on, everybody back in the bag. All y'all. Keeps it all together. Nice heavy little bag to put it all in. So, no danger of losing anything. There we go. All crinked up. All right. So let's get on to the cross stitch. Okay, this is, and like I said, those were $3.99 each. Did I tell you that? I think I need a drink. Hang on. Isn't she beautiful? It says Winter Beautiful Girl. She's got a little bird on her hand. And 
yeah, she's got like some food or something in her hand. I can't tell what it is. But this is a 14 count. It is a Joy Sunday. Comes in a beautiful Joy Sunday bag. Very reusable. Does have instructions on the back if you've never cross stitched before. Hang on, I'll tell you how big it is. I forgot to tell you. Hang on. Hang on. Let me turn, flip it over. There you go. Isn't she pretty? Look at that blue outfit. Mm, just gorgeous. It is a 39, I mean, 30 by 29. Just beautiful. Comes with an instruction page. It has 23 colors. It only has full stitch and back stitch. Very easy to read pattern. They're always nice and big and easy. Let's take a look at her beautiful colors. Whoa. I'm just all about hitting that thing today. Get everything unwound. Comes with two needles. There is not a sticker on here that says what kit it's from. But look at those blues. Mm. The turquoises and the teals. Then you have some off-whites to set that in a little bit of... I don't know, that looks like a pale peach or medium peach, if you will. Then over here we have browns, more peaches, and some reddish colors, and look at the golds. Aren't they beautiful? Just beautiful. And more blues. They're awesome. And they're short. There's not a lot of them because this isn't a very big kit. Let's take a look at the canvas. The canvas is surged all the way around. I'm trying to get it to lay down here. We got some you know, folded up so it'd fit in the thing. And the back stitching is really going to make the picture. I don't know. No back stitching there, but there's some like on her earrings. So I guess that'll all work out. It just looks kind of funky right now. It looks like one of those that you have to add all the back stitching to make it look good. But as you can see, there's no back stitching except for her earrings. They're kind of pretty. And a little bit on his eye, and that is it. And the rest is, is cross stitch. But yeah, nice big key. You can see it across the bottom very well. It is 125 by 121. It does have the product uh, numbers that are on the front page and the title of it. So that's always nice. Let's see how big it actually is. The canvas itself is 29 and a half by uh, 28, almost 29. It's almost on the 29. So it's about 29 by 29 and a half. The actual picture is 22 and a half, which is almost 9, by um, a little over 22. So not too bad. And you don't stitch the background. This is a partial. So yeah, and nice and easy to read. With only 23 colors, I had to look, I can tell. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be too difficult to cipher that out. Because they always do some symbols in solid color and then some in like a little symbol. Symbol. Does that make sense? You know what I mean. So yeah, I think that's going to be beautiful. And I like that you don't have to stitch the background, of course. You know, if you got all festive and you wanted to do that, carry on. Yeah, but I, I don't think I'd be stitching the back background. But some people, you know, each to your own. But that is a beautiful little kit. I thought it was gorgeous. Now that kit was $5.79. And let's take a look at this one. Aren't they cute? They're little red foxes. It says the red fox at the bottom. And it says red foxes down here. It is a 26 by 21. It is a 14 count. And it's in a Joy Sunday Junior box. Because it doesn't say Joy Sunday, but it has all the earmarks of being Joy Sunday. 
I don't know if this is the way they used to come. I have no idea. Not a clue. Get it all out of there. Turn it around so everybody can see. But aren't they just precious just sitting there in the grass? They're so cute. So cute. Comes in the nice Joy Sunday bag. Instructions on the back. Reusable bag. Lovely. This has 19 colors. It has full stitch, three quarter stitch, and back stitch. Nice big key. Nice big thing so you can see where to put all the back stitching. And you can put all the words down here at the bottom. I don't know. I'll have to look at the actual thing. I don't know if you do it automatically. What I meant was whether or not it was printed on there. No, it is not printed on there. You have to put it all in. Sometimes they do make lines like that. So let's take a look at the colors. You have two needles. Make sure there was two. And you have, these are very long this time. So you have two shades of green there and some tans and browns. And then on the other side, you have the fox colors in three shades of reddish orange no that's not right it's like a burnt orange in three different shades like dark medium and light and some light tan and like a tannish gray if you will a little bit of gray and lots of green you have that dark green and you have three four more greens over here too for the greenery around there and the back stitching but just beautiful colors just beautiful beautiful colors gorgeous mm. I just love those foxes I just thought they were just so different and so cute for me I don't buy animal things usually I don't know I, every once in a while I do now this one this is what I was talking about like on this other one it looks like this. Now this is definitely going to have your back stitching for your, their face and their eyes. and So it doesn't look like much here. But after you get all the back stitching in, it will really make it look nice. So nice and easy to read. It is surged all the way around, which is nice. It does have the, the numbers that are on the front of the page. It's 103 by 91 high. It is a 14 count and it does say that it's red foxes but yeah you're gonna have to wing those words if you want to put in the red fox at the bottom but this is a nice easy to read uh, symbols and key you can see it you can't read all that part but I mean the symbols as far as the numbers and what the DMC numbers are they're very easy to read just that sideways thing is a little hard but you know your symbol for the line excuse me is the back stitching and the half of that is three-quarter stitch and then the rest of them along here are the full stitches now on these the uh, the key on this page does not match this. So these are total different symbols or numbers, you know, in the, the squares. This does not match that. We'll just leave it at that. It's hard to explain. And then it's easy. I, I don't know. Let's see how big it is and how big is it supposed to be. It's supposed to be 26 by 21. <coughs> It is 25 and a half by 20 and mm, 20 and three quarters and the actual picture is 18 a little over 18 just a smidge over 18 and almost 16 and a half so two or three lines from that so it's not a very big picture it is let's see a little over seven and 
I'm trying. About six and a half. So it would fit in an eight by ten frame, you know, with something around the edge. So that's cool. Yeah, very well printed. There's nothing difficult about this. Very easy to read. Very easy to read. The back stitching is going to be the the ordeal in this. It'll be take you three days to stitch this, but it'll take you another week and a half to get all that back stitching in. But it'll be nice. I just thought they were pretty. They're so cute. Okay. We got, whoa. We have an avalanche. Come on. Get up there. And then there's this one. It's called Butterfly Fairy 12. Oh, the foxes were... Hang on. They were $4.79. And this Butterfly Fairy was $6.49. So, yeah. I just thought she was cute, too. I was into cutesy, I guess, that day. And... Let me get it out of its bag. This is an actual Joy Sunday. Maybe if I can get it out of the bag. Comes in a nice reusable black bag, just like the rest of them. But isn't that pretty? Look at those flowers. I just thought this was different and unique. And it's not very big. And I can't tell if it has cross or cross stitching. Back stitching. It does have back stitching around the flowers and everything else. It's just subtle back stitching. It has 30 colors. has this beautiful book. There's a beautiful picture of it. Nice big key. You have full stitch and back stitch. That's the only thing that's in it. Nice big pattern. Easy to read. This will not match that. It is 110 by 148. So yeah. But there's a lot of subtle back stitching in it. So I don't know if you would stitch it and look at it. And if you thought that it needed to have the back stitching, you could put the back stitching in. Maybe. Or perhaps. Just never can tell. I mean, I think that's up to you. You know, how much do you want to do? If you think it looks better with it, then put it in. If not, don't. It's your picture now. You know, you've stitched it and you do as you want. Does come with two needles. Look at those beautiful bright colors. Aren't they just gorgeous? For a little picture, that is a lot of colors. Just gorgeous. They have several of these um, fairy like things there. See, this is number 12. But they have different flowers and different girls, and it's just kind of cute. Whimsical. Seriously. We have some blues and reds and golds and greens. Is there purple? Ah, uh, there's pale purple, sort of. Like a pale blue violet, but not a violet. Because your flowers are more in red tones, and her dress is kind of pink with some uh, other colors, and then the yellow for her hair. But yeah, I just thought it was beautiful. Just beautiful. But look at all those beautiful colors. Nice soft threads. Does mark that it is a 14 count. But there's no sticker that says that goes with this or that. They're short threads. But look at all that. Isn't that just stupendous? Oh. The color gets me first. I'm telling you. I just get sucked in every time. This is a partial. Did I say that? You don't have to do the background. It is surged all the way around the outside. We have straggling threads. All right, and let's see. It does have the product number. Both those numbers are on the front of the page of the pattern. It tells you what it is, Butterfly Fairy 12. Nice big key that runs along the bottom all the way around with all your different threads. Very easy to read. So this is a good size. Very good size. Let's see here. It is 27. Okay, it's supposed to be 27 across. Let's check out the other one. By 34. Just about on the line. 
So that part's right. Very easy to read symbols on the canvas part. Let's see, it's a little over 19 and a half, almost 20 centimeters, it is. And it's almost 27 this way. So that's like a little over 10 and a half by eh, 7 and 3 quarters. So, yeah, just beautiful. And I was going to show you the hang. Hey, I fold it because I think the light goes through it. But nice, easy to read symbols. There's nothing real bad about that at all. And it doesn't have confetti. Everything runs in rivers, which is nice. I like how this looks. It looks like a rainbow. So you just blend from one to the next on the, the stems of the flowers. But just beautiful. Just beautiful. Gorgeous. I actually like this one. Some of them, you know, they're they, they're too small for me, but this is a good size. This is 27 by 34, approximately. So that's, it's not too everything condensed. That's where I get into trouble and I can't see it, but I can definitely see all this. Just beautiful. Well, that is everything that I got from DIY buying. They do have cross stitch and diamond painting. They have only Joy Sunday kits. They I don't know that they do or don't have counted. I didn't look at that. You know, count across you know, Joy Sunday does count across stitch sometimes, but they're mostly all Joy Sunday. They have paint by number. They have, um, they don't have crafts for cross stitch. And I think they have free shipping over $59. You might take a look at that. And they have a small amount of cross stitch tools. And they have lots of cross stitch to pick from. And they also have diamond painting tools. So, they have all the sizes of diamond painting, you know, round, square, special, and all that. Uh, let's see. They have over 35 pages of Joy Sundays, and they get new arrivals all the time. So, it's quite a nice, you know, well-rounded little store. And I like that, you know, you get a little choice of this or that, and if you're picking up a gift, and they like diamond painting, and you like cross stitch, well, you can buy it all at one store. All right, well, thank you, DIY Buying, for sending me all these beautiful kits. They're just lovely. I love this. I just mm, love it. Beautiful. So we'll see how it comes out. Eek. Not sure. All right, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.